DVD Lab. This is part four of the Dynaco ST70 amplifier build. The amp is ready for inspection, test, the hookup speakers, and we'll hear it play for the first time. Here we go. So in wiring part three, I verified the output of the power transformer and ensured negative bias was present. And that's very important. Next thing I'm gonna do is simply check the filter caps make sure we don't see any direct shorts because when we insert tubes and power this thing up there's gonna be high voltage available if there's a short somewhere it'll find it okay so before I install tubes we're gonna ensure that the negative bias is present on all the grids of the output tube so I have a variac and we're gonna bring her up to about 50 volts for this test and now I'll take my meter and check pin 5 of each of the output tubes to make sure the negative bias is there. Because if it's not, the tube will red plate. The other thing I'm going to do is make sure that my negative bias pots are delivering maximum negative bias. For the initial test, I've installed some 10 ohm resistors across the 8 ohm output speaker jacks. I have the 7199s installed. We have a 5AR4 rectifier, but for the output tubes, I'm going to be installing some sacrificial tubes in case something goes wrong. We don't want to destroy those good ones. All right, here we go. Initial power up of the Dynaco. I'm going to be bringing this up with a variac. You can't see that because I want to focus in on these meters. Each meter is monitoring the bias test point. I'm not going to bring this up to full voltage. We'll probably settle at about 1 to 1.1 volts, depending on how it acts. Remember, my negative bias pots are cranked back. So we're not going to see a lot of idle current initially. And since we have mismatched tubes, I'm sure that the channels aren't going to display the same voltages, right? So I'm at 50 volts. I'm watching my current meter. And you get to hear my clock in the background. Okay, I'm up to 70 volts. Still showing under half amp of current. You can see we're starting to see some voltage on the test points indicating those tubes are pulling current. And there's no smoke, so that's a real good thing. All right, we're going to keep going. I'm up to 90 volts. You see a big difference in the bias voltages here. But that's okay. Remember, we have mismatched oddball tubes in here. I'm at 100 volts, about a half volt over here, a little under 0.4 volts over there. All right, now I'm up just under 120 volts. So you always want to watch very carefully. If you see any jumps in that bias voltage, turn that variac down. Now you can see why it's very valuable to have a variac on your bench. You would not want to take this amp and just plug it in. So now I'm going to bring these levels up to one volt. Kind of go back and forth here a little bit. Okay, looking good. What I want to do is put these at a volt. And then I'm going to sit here and watch this and see if it's stable. If it's not, it's more than likely the fault of these old tubes. But if she'll come up and hold steady with these old beaters, you know it's going to be great when it gets those nice matched mullards in there. All right. So there is about a volt on each side. 
and they're going to drift around as things heat up. But what you don't want to see is the current take off. And they are holding steady. Now I do not have a signal applied, I do not have speakers connected, so we still don't know if the amp works. But we do know that the output tubes will come up, bias up, and hold steady. So let's go ahead and hook up a signal source and some speakers. All right, here we go. I've got my quart speakers hooked up. We're driving this with a Hafler preamp and a CD player for the input. I have the amp directly plugged in now. So we're going to bring it up, make sure bias is okay. Here they come. Remember I set them for approximately a bolt. Looks pretty good. This guy's lagging behind, but I don't really care. Let's bring up some volume on the Hafler. Yeah. All right, here's a song I'm sure you'll all recognize. This is a non-copyright song, so I can play it. Dynaco ST70 is playing great for its initial debut. It's pretty cool. put in the Mullard tubes and see if they sound as good as these do. They should sound better. Here they are. The original Dynaco tubes made in Great Britain. Gonna see power for the first time. When I get these in, then the original set of tubes will be installed in this amp. All right, I've got the Dynaco tubes installed. Set the bias. Sounds crystal clear on the volume all the way down. Absolutely no hum. It's a great amp. Okay, that's a wrap on bringing this 1970s Dynaco ST70 to life in the year 2025. It sounds great. I'm very happy with the project. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.